السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبيه ومصطفاه وبعد My dear viewers, welcome to another episode in the series of Best of the Best Today's episode will discuss the hadith which describes the best among us as خيركم من يرجى خيره which means the best of all of you is the one whose goodness is hoped for is expected from him to treat others good. The hadith reads as follows. Abu Huraira radiyallahu anh narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam waqafa ala unas in julus. He came while standing. He saw some people were sitting down. So he addressed them saying, Ala ukhbirukum bi khayrikum min sharrikum? He said, you guys shall I not inform you who is the best among you and who is the worst among you, فَسَكَتُوا So they kept quiet because, you know, perhaps they were afraid that the, the Prophet ﷺ is going to expose somebody. Yes, tell us who is the best among us. But to tell us who is the worst among us, it is very risky and it is very dangerous because if this is the case, then this person will be labeled as the worst forever. But it wasn't like that. The Prophet ﷺ was not talking about a particular individual. He was rather talking about a quality that whoever would possess this quality, he happens to be the best. It could be you, it could be you, it could be me, it could be whoever. You know, if you work hard to acquire the qualities of becoming the best, then you're the best or one of the best. And similarly, the evil traits of the worst of people. Any person does such evil traits or you know, uphold such evil traits, then he becomes the worst or among the worst of people. So the Prophet ﷺ said this statement three times. Shall I not inform you about who is the best among you and who is the worst among you? So finally a man said, Bala ya Rasulullah, yes, go ahead and tell us. Akhbirna bi khayrina min sharrina. Tell us who is the best among us and who is the worst among us. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, خَيْرُكُمْ مَنْ يُرْجَى خَيْرُهُ وَيُؤْمَنُ شَرُّهُ The best among you is the one whose goodness is hoped for, is expected and anticipated. وَيُؤْمَنُ شَرُّهُ And people feel safe around him. They know that this person doesn't harm an ant. So there is no way that he's going to harm us. And now, who is the worst? He said, وَشَرُّكُمْ مَنْ لَا يُرْجَى خَيْرُهُ وَلَا يُؤْمَنُ شَرُّهُ The worst among you is the one whose goodness is not hoped for, is not expected. People do not anticipate any good from this person. Whenever he shows up, they know that some bad will happen. He's either going to curse somebody, hit somebody, hurt the feeling of somebody. He's like that. That is his nature. وَلَا يُؤْمَنُ شَرُّهُ And people do not feel safe around him. So that is the criterion which distinguishes between the best and the worst among people. The Prophet ﷺ, of course, as Allah the Almighty, described him in the Qur'an by admiring him, saying, وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَى خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ Indeed, you are on great manners. And his manners were stemming from the Qur'an. He has adopted and embodied all the good teachings of the Qur'an in his actions and in his sayings in dealing with others, family members, friends, or even enemies. He was the greatest mu'allim, the greatest teacher. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him. And he wanted to transmit that to the companions. And he said, أَقْرَبُكُمْ مِنِّي مَجْلِسًا يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ Those who will be the nearest to me on the Day of Judgment, we know the Prophet ﷺ will be in the highest place in heaven. You want to be near to him, 
You want to get to see him? Listen to this. أَقْرَبُكُمْ مِنِّي مَجْلِسًا يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ أَحَاسِنُكُمْ أَخْلَاقًا Those who will be the nearest to me on the day of judgment are those who are holding the best of manners, who have the best of akhlaq. So the akhlaq talk about themselves. The manners of the individual is something that you cannot conceal. Dealing with people in selling, in buying, being a neighbor of somebody, being a co-worker or a colleague, being hired by somebody or hiring somebody, People get to know you from close. They get to know that this person is very generous. This person is very helpful. This person, when I see him, I feel optimistic. Subhanallah, once I see him and I see his smile, he makes my day. That is the person whom the Prophet wasallam described him as the best among you. Once he shows up, everybody is happy that he's around. He must, you know, bring some goodness somehow. He's either bringing gifts or invites people for drink or for, uh, for food or he makes dua for them or he sits with people to assist them to assess them or if somebody is having a problem with his wife, with his spouse, with his children, with her neighbor, they complain to him and they find a solution with him. They find him advising, accommodating and helpful. Khayrukum man yurja khayru. Once people see him, they're very happy. Oh, so and so have come. You guys remember when the Prophet Sallallahu was only 35 years old, yani five years before he was commissioned with the prophethood. And the Meccans decided to reconstruct the Kaaba after a rainfall and some parts of the Kaaba fell apart. So now they rebuilt the Kaaba and when they were ready to put the black stone in its corner, each tribe and each chieftain of one of those tribes said, I shall do it. I shall put, I shall have the honor of putting the black stone in its corner. And it was about to be a bloodshed and a big fight. So some of them said, hey, you guys, save your blood and save your fights. Why don't you just seek the judgment of any person haphazardly? The first person who shall enter upon us will ask him to judge between us and let him decide who shall put the black stone in its corner. And subhanallah, they said, yes, it's not a bad idea. But they're the first person to walk upon them was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Everybody cheered saying, هَذَا هُوَ الصَّادِقُ الْأَمِينَ There has come the truthful, the honest, the trustworthy. That is the best of the best. So they were expecting from him wise ideas, some goodness. And this is exactly what happened. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah granted him wisdom and he saved them from a big fight and bloodshed by spreading his rida and his cloth and asking them to put the uh, black stone in its midst and he said e uh, every leader and every chieftain of one of the tribes should bring it and carry it from one end of the thawb then he put it in its position and its place in the corner by himself Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. People were very happy to see him because they know that this person is a source of goodness versus when they see an evil person, a person who is cursing, a person who is abusive, a person who does not do good to anyone. Such person is the worst of people as the Prophet ﷺ said. We will inshallah explain furthermore this very interesting uh, quality which makes you or any person the best among us after we return from a short break, inshallah, so please stay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome back. So earlier we were discussing the hadith in which Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said the best among you is the one who is, whose goodness is hoped for. And people feel safe around him. They are not afraid of an evil that comes from him. And on the other flip, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa defined the worst among us by saying and 
شر الناس the worst of all of you is the one whose goodness is not hoped for whatsoever and people do not feel safe around him people do not feel safe because such person is evil is harmful is abusive and so on it's all about being well mannered as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in another hadith khayru nasi ahsanuhum khuluqa the best of mankind is the one who have the best of manners rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says in this regard with regards to the second segment of the hadith which is the worst among you he said wallahi la yu'min wallahi la yu'min wallahi la yu'min imagine the messenger of allah peace be upon him had to swear to Allah three times. I swear to Allah, such person is not a believer. I swear to Allah, such person isn't a believer. And he said it three times. So they said, who, O Prophet of Allah, who is not a believer? He said, Man la ya'manu jaruhu bawa'iqa. A person whose neighbor doesn't feel safe around him because he is harmful, he's abusive, he's insultive. So his neighbors do not feel safe around him. Such person isn't a believer. I swear to Allah, such person has nothing to do with faith. This is very dangerous. So on one hand, the Prophet ﷺ said, خَيْرُ النَّاسِ أَحْسَنُهُمْ خُلُقًا And also he says, خَيْرُ النَّاسِ أَنْفَعُهُمْ لِلنَّاسِ The best of people is the one who is more useful to people. He can be very nice, but subhanAllah, you do not help people by any mean. That is not good enough. He said it. The best of all people is the one who is more useful, beneficial, and helpful to people. This is what Allah likes most. خَيْرُ النَّاسِ أَنْفَعُهُمْ لِلنَّاسِ As the Prophet ﷺ said also in the same uh, context. And the best of deeds, سُرُورٌ تُدْخِلُهُ عَلَى قَلْبِ مُسْلِمٍ to make somebody happy, to make a believer happy, to share good news with him, to relieve him from a debt, to settle his debt, to pay it off on his behalf, to feed him if he's hungry, to settle a problem that he's encountering, these are among the best deeds which Allah the Almighty loves most. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, brothers and sisters, وَلَا أَنْ أَمْشِيَ فِي حَاجَةِ أَخِي حَتَّى أَقْضِيَهَا لَهُ خير لي من أن أعتكف في مسجدي هذا شهرا. In Ramadan, it's a very blessed time, and the Prophet used to observe i'tikaf, and it's a sunnah after him that the believers are very keen to observe i'tikaf in the masjid. Usual word, night prayer, and fasting during the day, and attending the five daily prayers in congregation, earning um, an a, a, a huge amount of reward, fasting, praying, making dua, and staying in the masjid, not being exposed to anything which is haram, great. You know what is better than all of that? The messenger of Allah said, if I know that somebody is in need and I go with him to fulfill his need, that is dearer to me because it is dearer before Allah than spending a whole month in i'tikaf in the prophetic masjid. And we all know that. Each prayer in the masjid of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is better than a thousand prayer anywhere else. So, prayers and voluntary prayers and night prayers and along with fasting, recitation of Quran and making dua, you're in full i'tikaf. All of that is great. What is greater than that? Helping somebody to fulfill his need. Better than spending a whole month in i'tikaf in the masjid of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Al-mu'minu ya'lafu wa yu'laf. A believer is like that. He's liked by others. He's liked by people. Even non-Muslim, they like him because he is helpful. He is useful and he guards himself and he does not let any evil come out of him to harm people. That's, that's why people like him. So he guards himself against evil. There is 
There is no goodness whatsoever in a person who hates people and people hate him. You know, when people, when all people happen to distance themselves from you, that's a terrible sign. That's a sign that there is no goodness in such person. The Prophet ﷺ said to one of the companions as he asked him about, you know, the means of goodness and how to achieve nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he said, you do this and you do that. And it's all about, you know, some kind of help that you offer to people. He said, what if I can't afford to give people or to help them or assist them financially or physically? Abu Dhar asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa O Prophet of Allah, what if in da'uftu an ba'd al-amal? What if I cannot do it? He said, takuffu sharraka an nasi fa innaha sadaqatun minka ala nafsik. By protecting people against your evil, it doesn't mean that you're an evil person, but sometimes you may react in a way which is bad. By making certain that you do not harm no one, that's an act of charity from you upon yourself. That's a good deed. Because yes, I have an access to annoy my neighbor. I have an access to make people suffer. I'm their employer or I'm their boss, I'm their senior. No, no, I'm not going to do that, even though I'm capable to do that. Rather, you know, I would assess them, I would help them, you will be the best. But if you cannot assess them, at least do not harm them. This is how you're actually making an act of charity upon yourself. Wallahu la yuhibbu zalimin. Allah the Almighty said in Surah Ali Imran, ayah number 57, He likes not the wrongdoers, the oppressors, those who hurt others and oppress people. And imagine... The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said in the hadith, اتقي دعوة المظلوم فإنه ليس بينها وبين الله حجاب. Whenever somebody is oppressed and he raises his or her hands, even if they were non-Muslims, and they ask Allah to take revenge from an oppressor, Allah the Almighty immediately accepts their dua. Even if the person is a non-believer and he vows to support him, and to take revenge from the oppressor, from the perpetrator. Don't be that person whatsoever. Make people love you either by helping them or by at least not harming them. Once when the Prophet was sitting, a man walked in whom the Prophet knows that this person is an evil person. And he said, Bi'sa akhu al-ashir. He is such an evil person. But when the person walked in, the Prophet ﷺ welcomed him and he showed him generosity and he smiled to him and he honored him. When he left, Aisha radiallahu anha asked him, O oh Prophet of Allah, this person is such an evil person. Why did you treat him so kind? So what did he say? He said, Ya Aisha, I was never fahishun wala badi. I was never, you know, one of those who are obscene or have ever said an obscene language. Ya Aisha, the worst kind of people before Allah are those whom people avoid them in order to avoid their harm. Or they treat them good because they don't want to hear a bad word from them. So sometimes people are so harmful, people don't want to even say good morning to them. That's a terrible sign. Such person is the worst before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't want to talk about that. Of course not. We want to be among the best of the best who are khayrun nasi and fa'uhum nas. The best of people are those who are more useful and helpful to people. And the best of all people, as the Prophet sallallahu said in this hadith, khayrukum man yurja khayruh wa yu'manu sharruh. The best of all of you are those whose goodness is hoped for and expected and their evil is not expected and people feel safe around them. May Allah make us among them. Brothers and sisters, until next episode of Best of the Best, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.